Hey, what is up nation? In this session, I'm going to teach you how to download a PDF that's embedded within a website. All right, so a lot of times I will reference uh, certain things that are PDFs on websites. So one of those things, a lot of the time, is uh, building code. So if I type in IBC 2009, uh, the International Building Code 2009, uh, it takes me to ICC Safe. Uh, and I'm not exactly sure how the licensing here works, um, why they give it free on their website, um, why you can maybe you can't buy older versions and that's why they do it I'm not sure so look into that if you if you're worried about that um, but so I, I can bring this up and then you see here there's a little scroll bar and I can see that but there's no way to download this like if I right click there's nothing there if I expand there's nothing um, and if I hit uh, viewer JS it just gives me some information uh, and it's just kind of annoying if if for whatever reason we lose internet and I won't be able to access this um, so and it's just annoying to have to like come through the code in this manner it'd be nice to have one volume of PDF that I can search through um, because chances are you'll have to flip through different sections and it's annoying to have to click through um, every time um, so uh, it's just nice to have it in one spot. Um, so what I'm going to show here is that uh, I'm using Chrome. And uh, if I just want to download this PDF, I can do that. But you sort of have to do a little bit of a workaround. Um, so uh, what you do is you right click when you have Chrome open and the website that has this and go to inspect. It's going to pop up this little window. Okay, so now you can see both windows. This is what it'll look like. Uh, there's this little slider thing. Uh, that you want to move uh, and if I go down uh, you can see that as I scroll things start to get highlighted um, so you just want to sort of select what you want and then uh, you can see here there's a whole web web code um, so it's looking at the source and it's finding this uh, area so actually what's happening is that it's saying hey this is uh, the PDF that I want to draw from um, and then this source here is saying this is the location that that is. But when I click on it, uh, so if I double click on that and then hit Control C, I can't just simply paste this in because it's not an actual website. So what you need to do is this slash means, hey, for the uh, sort of like the primary website, we're going to go from there. So you can see you want to delete this first slash and then control V or paste it right click paste and you can see it brings this up and now there's an option to download alternatively if I go back uh, if you don't want to do that or if you don't remember to do that uh, you can come up here to the top and go to properties and then where it says iframe the iframe is like this window that the PDF is contained within so this is a bunch of information about that if you scroll down to the bottom you'll see that there's a source listed SRC uh, stands for source uh, and that is the entire web address of that PDF so you can just come in here and copy that copy and paste that up here and it'll bring that up and you can save as or download uh, so hopefully this video helped if you liked it please don't forget to subscribe and uh, share this video with your friends and as always happy hacking all right designers just because this episode of designer hacks is over doesn't mean we're leaving you out in the cold tony's got tons of great content available at designerhacks.com so join design nation right now and we'll see you on the next episode of designer hacks
Alright designers, just because this episode of Designer Hacks is over doesn't mean we're leaving you out in the cold. Tony's got tons of great content available at designerhacks.com. So join Design Nation right now and we'll see you on the next episode of Designer Hacks.